Right now it's empty. The stage is dark. But I want to show you what it looks like when the stage is full of color, when it's full of the wonderful talent and excitement of a very special group of Virginia Tech students, all full-time students, but all of them willing to put in the extra hours of practice and travel in order to be musical goodwill ambassadors representing more than 20,000 Virginia Tech students, representing them beautifully. In fact, in musical terms, with high fidelity.
insurance policy. He wants to compare it with the Challenger, the universal life policy from Life of Virginia. Are his premiums flexible? The Challengers are. Can he change coverage as his life changes and get competitive current interest rates on his cash value? He can with the Challenger. Call us, because when you find your old policy, you'll probably want a new one too. The Challenger from Life of Virginia. For information about the Challenger and Life of Virginia's line of universal life insurance products, contact the Robinson Agency at 239-LIFE. Come in or request our computer-equipped Challenger mobile unit. We'll analyze your situation, compare your present life insurance, and provide a detailed proposal based on an insurance program that's flexible and credits competitive current interest rates, a program offering more than protection for your insurance dollar. The Robinson Agency and Life of Virginia, 239-LIFE. We think you'll be glad you did. I guess the director of a collegiate group is a lot like a basketball or football coach. You're proud of your whole team and what they can do. But you're always especially proud of the ones who have what it takes to make it in the pros. And the New Virginians have a lot to be proud of. Graduates of our technical crew have toured with half a dozen major Broadway shows, and one young man helped design the special effects for Tokyo Disneyland. Our public relations staff gets a lot of hands-on experience. And the young lady who was our graphics designer last year went right to work last summer designing the new video games for one of the top companies in the business. And of course, dozens of our singers, dancers, and instrumentalists have gone into touring bands, theater, television, recording studios, worked at Busch Gardens, King's Dominion, worked at the Musicana Clubs in Florida for various production companies, and with the Miss Virginia pageant. As a matter of fact, for three years in a row, former New Virginians were in Atlantic City competing for the title of Miss America. In 1980, Miss Connecticut, Gina Caruso. In 1981, Miss New Hampshire, Natalie Oliver. And in 1982, Beverly Cook, one of three New Virginians who have become Miss Virginia. I don't want to make any predictions about the ladies who are in our cast this year, except one, and that is that you are going to love the beautiful blend of their voices in a song from the TV series, Fame. thousand 
I'm Camillus Robinson, president of the Robinson Agency. I am happy to be involved with the New Virginians Thanksgiving program. With me is John Howell, director of the New Virginians. As part of the Robinson Agency's participation in this program, I am happy to present this check for $500 to the New Virginians Scholarship Fund. Thank you, Mr. Robinson. It's a delight to have you with us on this program. And every member of the New Virginians and every member of their families will appreciate this very much. The Ed Pittard Scholarship Fund was established not quite a year ago in memory of a young man who was a member of the New Virginians, who was a member of our show band, a trumpet player. We have set ourselves the goal this year to double the amount of the scholarship endowment. And while we have not made it yet, we are beginning to come very close and this wonderful donation is going to help. Thank you. On this Thanksgiving, 
Thanksgiving Day, WSET-TV would like to recognize all the people in the communities we serve who, along with us, are moving up. We would especially like to applaud these young singers as they show the world just how terrific young people can be. invite you to join the New Virginians and WSET in moving up toward a bright horizon. Our soloist on the last number was Lori Saunders, a sophomore music major from Lancaster, Virginia. And even though Lori's only a sophomore, she's already spent one entire season as a featured performer in one of the shows at King's Dominion. Another fine performer graduated in 1981, a Lynchburg native named Marsha Jones. Marsha's a good performer, but her special gift is as a songwriter. And I had the pleasure of working with Marsha on a song that we hope will mean something to the people of this beautiful state. It's called In Virginia. In Virginia, Words and Music by Marsha Jones of Lynchburg. 
It's kind of interesting that Marcia was not a music major when she was here at Tech. In fact, I think we probably have more engineering majors in the group than anything else. I'd like you to meet Brian Lehman, an engineering major, a sophomore from Dahlgren, Virginia, and a brand new New Virginian. Brian, I guess you've been in the group for about two months now. How do you make music work along with engineering studies? The New Virginians have been performing in my hometown pretty much every year since the group was formed. So I was introduced to the group at a fairly young age. I was very impressed with the group, and I knew that someday I wanted to be a part of it. And to answer the second part of the question, to keep up with the engineering studies while in the group, it takes many long nights. Brian's a brand new New Virginian, and he doesn't plan to make a career of performing. Now, meet Dale Alderman, a fifth-year senior from Floyd County in marketing and a fifth-year member of the New Virginians. Dale does plan to become a professional performer. You've already got some very good credits behind you, and I think people would be interested in the fact that you had a chance to go pro, to go on tour nationally with Fred Waring, and you turned it down. That kind of makes you the Ralph Sampson of short singers. You stayed in school, you're going to graduate this year, and you stayed with the New Virginians. Why? Well, there were two major reasons. First of all, I wanted to get my degree from tech. And the second reason is that the offer came four years ago. And at that point in time, I didn't feel that I had enough entertainment experience and knowledge to do my best job. Uh, so consequently, I decided to stay with the New Virginians and get the training that I needed. Dale, we certainly wish you all the best in your career. You too, Brian. Dale, you're going to find that music is wonderful. It deals with moods, it deals with emotions. Neil Diamond wrote a song that describes the emotions and the wonderful feeling of spiritual revival that you can only find at a good old-fashioned American camp meeting. One hot August night with the leaves hanging down and the grass on the ground smelling real sweet. up the road to the outside of town is the sound of that good gospel beat such a ragged tent where there ain't no trees and that gospel group Get suddenly still, and when you'd almost bet, you can hear yourself sweat. He walks on in. Eyes just as black as coal, and when he lifts his face, every eye in the place is on him. Starting soft and slow, just like a small earthquake. Old-time religion, give me that old-time religion, give me that old-time religion, it's good enough for me. He said, my, he said, my, we lifted up, we lifted up, he said, if I be lifted up, I'll be lifted up, lifted up. he said, if I be lifted up, what did he say? He said, if I, well, he said, if I, if I be lifted, lifted, lifted up, I'll go home eternally, he lifts me higher.
Robinson Agency has brought you the new Virginians Thanksgiving special. Store-wide after Thanksgiving Santa sale is coming. Starting tomorrow, you'll find...